Hi everyone, this is Dave and welcome to a new Mega Gadget Collection. This is a little bit of a teaser for you. I'm not going to show you this particular product that I'm holding in this Mega Gadget Collection. I wanted to give you a sneak peek at what's coming up soon on the channel. This is the Wacom Cintiq Pro 16 graphics tablet. I'm super excited about it, so do stay tuned to see this in a future video. And if you enjoy the video you're watching now, don't forget to subscribe to the Geek Noise channel. I publish a new tech video pretty much every single day. So let's move on to have a look at the first product in this Mega Gadget collection. It's one of the very latest routers from Linksys. This is the Linksys MacStream AC2200. So this is the Linksys MacStream router, the AC2200. And it's actually an AC router, tri-band offering. So to be able to take full advantage of the features inside this particular product, depending upon your laptop, you might need a USB adapter. And Linksys, of course, make one to go alongside this router. This is the MacStream AC600, plugs in via USB and gives you full access to the full range of capability of this particular device. So let's take a closer look at the router itself. So we've got these really beefy antennas around the outside. We've got this sort of perforated grill on the top, which gives us some ventilation for the internal components. And of course, if we turn it round, we've got all of the various uh, inputs and outputs. This particular one here, if we just take a look at this, says remove before use, is of course the input for the power supply. We've got the main power on off switch on the side at the back here. And then we've got four gigabit Ethernet sockets, and then of course the Ethernet socket that you're going to plug your modem router into. We've also got a USB 3 connection here. You can use this for external hard drives, etc., a thumb drive. And then we've got the main reset button. This side is completely clear, and this side here has got a WPS sort of quick connection button as well. Now, the design, first of all, is really nice nice and stealthy looking. These antennas give an amazing range, but one of the big selling points of this is that it's tri-band. So it's got a 2.4 gigahertz band that supports up to 400 megabits per second. And then we've not got one, but we've got two five gigahertz bands that support up to 867 megabits per second as well. There's also a free downloadable app on the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store, so you can manage this very easily. And it just creates a really stable connection for rock solid internet access. Now also in this video, I wanna show you this tiny little drone. This is the Fader drone. It's very small, but still capable of capturing video. So this is the Fader drone from Trend Labs. And even though it's really small in size, look at it in comparison to my hand, it's got some really great features and capabilities. It's a nice lightweight drone. This is the little battery, which you charge via micro USB cable. And it's got a little camera in it as well. Very, very cool indeed. Some of the features include auto takeoff and land, altitude hold, so it will actually take off and hover at a predetermined height, HD photo and 720p HD video via the little tiny camera just on the front there and it's also got real-time FPV, and it will actually send the video back to your smartphone. So it's got a holder on the controller, which will use the app and send back what the camera's seeing to your smartphone. The controller itself is pretty nice. You know, you can tell that it's not a high-grade uh, controller that you'd get with one of these more expensive drones, but it's more than capable. It's got plenty of controls for controlling the pitch and also rotation and, and speed and height of the drone. Main on off switch on the bottom here and round the back, this is where you put the batteries. This isn't rechargeable, this runs off four AAA batteries. Now the smartphone I've got in the holder is an iPhone 7 Plus, so it accommodates large smartphones as well. And during my use, the app worked very well indeed. Now with regards to video capture, I'll show you some of that now. I cannot show you the video capture because whilst testing this, it lost connection and I never recovered the drone. Now the drone actually has a micro SD card slot in the base and this allows you to then uh, recover the video footage from the SD card, either by connecting the drone to your computer or by using a micro SD card reader. 
I was never able to find the drone. I spent about an hour and a half searching for it. So I can't actually show you the video footage. However, what I can say is that the video footage that was displayed on the smartphone whilst I was flying looked very good indeed. There was no stabilization, but when you got a smooth flight run, it looked very impressive, albeit at 720p. So it's a good little drone. It was a shame that it actually flew away. But for now, all I can say is if you want to give it a try, this is the Trend Labs Fader, and it's a very affordable drone. I just hope that yours doesn't have a mind of its own and disappear. Now, if you're feeling a little bit creative, but you don't quite want to go the full route and get a 3D printer, this is a 3D printing pen, one that you can hold in your hand and really produce some amazing results. Let's take a closer look. So this is the 3 Doodler Create pen, and it's currently plugged in via the cable to the power supply that's inside the box. I would have hoped that this would have been battery operated, like rechargeable, because having it tethered with the cable makes it a little bit more difficult to handle. But I suppose it's using quite a lot of energy to heat the uh, filament that you're gonna put into it. If we look around on this side, we've got an extra control port just here. We've also got the main on off switch and it's got positions for off, low and high. And then we've got some LED feedback. Now it's currently blue, I'm assuming that means it's ready to use. When I first turned it on, that LED light was red. It takes around about 60 to 90 seconds to heat up. We've also got around here, uh, what looks like an LED light, but I'm assuming this is a clear window uh, so that you can see the uh, filament going through. And then we've got the tip here, which is where the uh, plastic or the ABS that's supplied inside the box is gonna come out. And the idea behind this is you can create sort of 3D uh, models. And this is what we get supplied. Uh, this one's got matte written on it, so I'm assuming that the other pack is gloss. Uh, we've got some pastel -y colors and some stronger colors inside these packs. So I'm gonna load up one of these and see what we can create. So as you can see, this is very, very intricate. In fact, I've been trying to create this letter G uh, for about 20 to 30 minutes. And this is my third attempt. I'm finally getting used to it. And with a steady hand, you can build up the layers. If you've had previous experience with a 3D printer, then you'll probably get on better with this pen because it's the same premise. You're building up the layers, albeit this is handheld, so not as accurate as a 3D printer but it is great fun. I would say that it does get hot on that tip. So for the very young, enthusiastic creative, do supervise them at all times. Uh, but I think that it's pretty good. I'm really impressed. Let me just stop this now and we'll have a look at this creation. We're just gonna let it cool down a little bit because I don't wanna disturb it at this stage. But that is very, very cool indeed. So this is the three doodler create and this is what i managed to create a letter g for the geekanoids channel and i think it's really very very cool indeed and last but not least we've got the my vq monty this is a dab dab plus and fm radio but it also serves up as a wireless bluetooth speaker so this is the monty just look at it little tiny radio it also acts as an alarm clock with dual alarms and snooze controls but it's got so many features, but the main sort of selling point for me is how it looks. Just look at this, it looks gorgeous. Now it's available in oak or walnut veneer. This is the walnut version. And let's look at the side profile. Just look at that wood grain. Awesome, so it's got like a, a retro feel to it. But when you look at the front, it's got this really modern look to it as well. Let's take a quick 
scoot around the back, then you can see some of the inputs and outputs. So we've got a battery compartment, so you can run this off of batteries or you can have it as a battery backup system for if the main supply fails. We've got the main on off switch just here. We've got a USB output. This is used for charging a smartphone, for example. We've also got the input for the power supply that comes inside the box. Auxiliary input, so if you didn't connect something to this wirelessly via Bluetooth, you can hardwire something in. We've also got a headphone output as well. This is the antenna. You extend this for the radio reception and it supports DAB, DAB Plus and FM. And you can have up to 30 presets between the different uh, radio uh, features on here as well. Let's take a look back around the front. Now this design is awesome. So we've got modern meets retro with this nice looped handle which makes it a nice portable system as well. Nice large display which is white on black and this is surrounded by some extra controls. Uh, these controls are used for volume, favourite in stations etc. And then we've got a row of buttons across the bottom as well for controlling the modes and menu. The main driver is hidden away between this soft cloth grille. So this isn't a hard grille, this is made of a piece of material. Love the colouring on this, it matches that uh, top loop handle as well. Now the audio that this produces, whether you've got something connected to it via Bluetooth or you're using the DAB feature, which I've used a lot on this, uh, is awesome. It really is. A nice bass frequency extension, nice clear audio, and the fact that you can wake up to that audio as well whilst you're charging your smartphone makes the ideal placement for this something like a bedside cabinet or it looks equally as good on a shelf in a lounge or dining room situation. I absolutely love the Monty and I think it's well worth checking out. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in another video very soon.